What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of the Just Saying Podcast. It is a hot one this week in L.A., and I thought, why not make the podcast a little hotter? This week's guest, I mean, my God, you've seen her in films, movies. She's a ghostbuster and an acclaimed author. It's <laughs> Leslie Jones. Oh, how are you? What an awesome little intro. Thank You're you. You're so fucking, like... She's good at her job. I, She's good at her I job. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> She's good at her job. She's good at her job. Um, real quick, I want okay, to say the last time I saw you, okay. the book had not come out yet. Right. And you were about to go to Beyonce's Renaissance concert. That was before, that's the last time you yes. saw me. Did yeah. you see the picture of me? I was looking yes. so fire. You looked really good. I look, yeah. It was, what was it? It was, um, Soul Train. What was, oh, you uh, know what? You know what I was going for. I I wanted to be sexy, but I wanted to be Beyonce, mm -hmm. right? And I wanted to have a funky ass afro. I wanted yes. to look like the front of a t shirt. Yeah. Yes. So and she was talking about sparklies and stuff. And at first, I was going to do some silver, silver. But then I was like, black always look good with me with sparkles on it. And I did the little black lipstick. And I did the like the Commodores mm -hmm. little short jacket. You see that Commodore with the little shingles? It was Age of Aquarius it disco. Was so yeah. fucking dope, yeah. son. But wow, everybody was dressed up at that concert. It was it was actually really fun to see that she can bring that out of people. It looked insane. It was a safe space, though. Yeah. It was, everybody behaved. I didn't have no, nobody fought, nobody well, argued. Well, people farted. I'm sure well, people farted. Fought. Oh, fought. That's what I said. <laughs> Just wow, I know I'm country, Justin, but fuck. The Tennessee over here. <laughs> they used to call me that in high school, Tennessee. T yeah, well, you're from Memphis. Yes, yes, they called me Tennessee and Chocolate Thunder. Yes, and you say that in your book. Yeah. How was the book tour? It was fun uh -huh. until, until I got sick, but you know uh, well, how that goes. We won't name names. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, I had a good... It actually was way funner than I thought it was going to be. I thought I thought I was going to hate it. Mm -hmm. I literally thought that I was going to hate talking about it. But every one of them got better and better. And, you know, people really responded to the... I mean, it's so interesting what people wanted to know. And you're like, oh, wow, I can't believe that that part of my life was interesting to you. Thank you. I'm, you know, so it, it was fun. I had fun. What was the question everyone wanted to know? Like what that well, you thought? It was thought, just or? like it was just like you know, um, um, was it hard for you to write it? Uh -huh. Like to talk about your family, uh, like, like uh, the dynamic of your family. Like it was a lot of um, you know what I find when I'm doing those things. I find that people really need to be encouraged. Mm -hmm. People are really encouraged by the book, and I go, that is. That, it doesn't make me sad, but it makes me aware that, yo, we really, really, um, we really take uh, it for granted that everybody is where we are. Like, not everybody is where I am, you know? So the encouragement, like, I, you know, I've come through the fire and I know how to encourage myself. You know, we know, we've done, but it's like there's people out there that really is looking for a word, a Rima word. They're looking just for a statement or yeah. a feeling or emotion. And it's just like... To ignite that passion right? in them. Yeah. And you just go, do it yourself. Ignite yourself. You know what I mean? I hate to say it set yourself on fire but really metaphorically people met, please yes don't actually set yourself on fire <laughs> my god the fact that i have to say that because someone makes will be... me sad <laughs> leslie jones said do it <laughs> leslie jones said set myself on fire we'll put a disclaimer at the front of this podcast Jingo. oh my god um, but yeah so um uh, how many you you went on? Ooh, I want that shirt. Boo, Isn't it fun? You whore. I mean, it's Halloween. I it's Halloween. It so Which, by the way, we'll talk more about the book. But okay. we have to talk about how you are now in your basement era, because for so long, basement era. This is the basement of the comedy store. Oh, you would was, not come down here. And I don't know. And I'm telling you, with the encouragement of Eleanor mm -hmm, and you, mm -hmm. uh, are the only two people that I have stepped down here for mm -hmm. because they're just like, it's not, you're going to be okay. And I feel like it's enough white people here that <laughs> if a ghost attack me, that it'll be witnesses. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> Meanwhile, this one carried a proton pack in a movie, but. The I mean, white people will take yeah, care of but her. What, what's so hilarious is that there's no such thing as a Ghostbuster. <laughs> the whole time? Because it's 
it, are you really going to call me if a fucking ghost come in your house? No, yes. you're going you're gonna to call the fucking police. No. Oh, you're going to be like, there's a ghost. You know what? I heard about four bitches with some proton pack. The no. fuck out of here. I'm going to call you because you'll be like, ghost? I'm going to be like, get out. I'm going to be like, Justin, call the fucking police. You're not a sage. You're being robbed. You're not a sage like I am Crystal. a sage person, Crystal. I actually mm-hmm. am very much in there because my house has ghosts. Okay. My, my house is definitely haunted. So how do you deal with your ghosts? Well, my ghosts are good ghosts. Okay. And I am way stronger than my ghosts. I, I didn't punk the fuck out of my ghosts. That's what I'm saying. That's if I no, had a bad... No, I'm like, don't do that shit. <laughs> they just close That's the... not fucking cool. <laughs> they just close the cupboard. No, like real talk. <laughs> <laughs> like at one point it was like Sorry. I would put down my phone and it would be I was like yo stop fucking doing that and they'll stop <laughs> you gotta put those no, Victorian let me tell you people no let me tell you how I know uh, this is how I know first of all the first time I walked in my house uh, to, to see it I felt I had already been living there Ooh. It was so eerie, even with the swim, because I'm not a swimming pool person either. I'm, you know, I don't do booty water. You know, everybody got, and everybody so is, got their booty in the water. You don't know what your booty do in the water. Why I want to be there to witness that? You don't know if you're gonna shit, piss, or whatever when that fucking water hits your asshole. You don't know what you're gonna do. So I don't want to be in the water. We're just swimming in a bidet. Exactly. Okay. At, at, at the fucking toilet. Yo, mm-hmm. I went to Mexico with some friends. Well, that's And different. you know how the fucking bars inside of the pool and like an infinity and, and pool? They, yeah, yeah, oh no, like an actual swim like up bar. Did, and, oh, uh-huh. and I was standing at the bar like this the whole time, <laughs> and they was just like, "Get out! Just get out the fucking pool!" I was like, "Thank you, God!" <laughs> I was just like, "I'm all the people swimming by you, you." Drinking alcohol, they're pissing in this. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not a swimming pool person, but mm-hmm. when I got to this house, this house pool was so beautiful, and I was just like, something about this house. So I didn't get it. Went into it was an escrow with someone else. But when they called me and told me that, I was like, and it was the same day that Chadwick Boseman died. Ooh, so fucking crazy. Cause I was like, damn, Chad would die. And then she called me. She was like, yeah, you're not gonna be able to get the house because it's already an escort with somebody else. And I was just like, oh, that just means it's gonna take me longer to get it because that's my house. And it was like 20 days later, I got the house, right? But when I had some, this lady that worked for me, her daughter, you know, reads cards and stuff like that now. I know that there's fake ones out there, but I also know that there's really genuine ones that can really do that shit, right? What, mediums? Yeah, like, uh-huh, mediums and uh-huh. stuff. I actually, you know, know a, a couple, like, really know how to do it. So the fake ones are always be revealed with me because I have really good spirit spirit guides. You know, uh-huh. I have nice spirit guides. And my mom, I have, I have, we all do. We have good spirit guides. If you're a good person, you have good spirit guides. So... I, this lady wanted to come to the house and she wanted to sage my house and all that. So we were somewhere else and the girl got there before us. Now, she had been bothering us. It was something about her that I didn't really particularly like. But I just, you know, you go, that's you, Leslie. You kind of a bitch. So, Because <laughs> I don't like nobody. <laughs> you do anything, I'll be like, Mm-hmm. Booty water or not, she don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Anyway, uh, period. Um, so so the girl got there before you know, before us. So, you know, like I said, it was my housekeeper's daughter or whatever. So we get home because I had told her, I told my housekeeper, tell her to go because I'm tired. We, can't, we don't have to do it today. We can do it tomorrow, whatever. So the housekeeper calls me and she goes, oh, no, she already left. She said, when she was sitting in front of your house, your house was literally like, get the fuck out. Like, no. why are you here? Why? In a bad way? Like, like the, yeah, like, we, why are you? Here? No, not in a bad way of like, you're not coming in this house. Like, she was bad. Uh-huh. It was like, why are you here? Why are you here? She got sage. She got literally lavender sage in the backyard. She doesn't need you to burn stay the fuck out of here. And I was like, oh, really, right? Because I'd always felt like that. So now when I get my real person that comes and, you know, does my car, it's not like a thing that you believe in. It's just really more of a recreational, like, it, mm-hmm. it just, it's fun to do. It's mm-hmm. just really fun to do, right? But she really, like, is a medium. And when she came to my house, she was like, oh, no, I had to talk to your house for a little while. Your house is cool, but we had to talk for a little while. And I was like, wow. Because for real, it does protect me. The house protects you. It does protect me. But you said something earlier. You said you felt like you were already living in it. So I might be dead, Justin. (laughs) 
That might be why I'm down here in the basement now when I couldn't come before. You might be talking to a fucking ghost. I would love that. Especially the ghost of me. I mean, that would be something else. I'm going to be the bombest fucking ghost. But do you think it could have been a past life, Leslie Jones, that of lived course. in the house? I, I, of course. Ooh. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, well, I mean, that's and weird. You know what's so crazy? Now, and you're going to laugh your ass off okay. at this shit. I've had more sex in that house than I had in the last... No, let me take that back because it is really was four years. Okay, carry the but, four minus the two. Yeah, but the whole time I was in New York. Uh-huh. And for SNL? I, you would think that I would be crushing dick. Like, dick <laughs> would have been like just bam, bam. It was not. Yeah. It was not. It was a dry spell? It was a dry. It was oh. the Sahara. Yeah. I hated it. Just sandstorms. Oh, my God. I <clears> almost <throat> was just like, what the fuck? Whose dick do I got to suck to get some dick? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the f- <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, if that's not a shirt, I don't know. If that's not your next merch shirt, I don't know what is. <laughs> get your who's dick do I got to suck to get some dick shirt at LeslieJones.com. <laughs> so I had more sex in that house than it's great. That's the spirits inviting you. Man, the spirits was like, yo, you not fucking? We got to change that. That's so interesting. So you've all obviously had some sort of like paranormal. Uh, what are you pouring into? Uh, uh, it's almost, this is moonshine. I swear to God, it it's almost water. feels like. It's I, water. I was like, oh my God, is he, he trying to <laughs> is he trying to hide the alcohol? He's Just pouring it, food shit. If you're drinking up. like that. No, son. it's a hot one today. So I'm like, I'm like, cool, yeah, I need to hydrate. No, keep drinking yes. your water. I know. Thank you, mama. Please. Um, uh, cause I've always felt very paranormal with this building. I have oh. seen two ghosts at the comedy store. Really? I, yes. And, uh, have you at all? Okay. I've had an experience okay. with the ghosts, but have you ever heard Thomas Ward's story? Thomas Ward's story. No, I haven't. Thomas Ward, like was, okay. You remember back in the day when, you know, before the comedy store got his shit together. Yeah. You remember that van that was parked over there on the side? There was a comedy store van that used With to be- With all the names on well, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it used yeah. to be parked over the side. Well, people used to kind of sleep in that a lot. Really? Like, yeah, like if they was homeless or whatever. And at one point, Thomas was sleeping in the van. And he said that he, uh, you know, everybody had left. He went, to, he fell asleep. And he said somebody came and bammed on the on the, on the the van. So he looked out. He, he But, you know, he, he was like, um, somebody must be tripping. And he went back to sleep and they bammed again. So he opened up the door and he said all he saw was a tall black guy with a jerry curl and a leather coat. And he was turning that little corner, you know, that little corner right there mm -hmm. with the light. He was turning that corner. So he jumped out the van to run and catch him like, yo, motherfucker, what you doing? And he went out and he wasn't there. So the next day he told Tommy and Tommy was like, oh, yeah, that used to be one of the bodyguards <gasps> that worked here. And I was like, Whoa. oh, yeah, yeah. So my thing was, okay, so I was going to go pick my homegirl up. And for some reason, I just was going to sit here in, in the in the parking lot. I was going to smoke a joint because she was going, she's working down the street. She needed me to pick her up. And she wasn't off yet. So I was like, I'm going to sit here and, you know, smoke this joint or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, um, I'm sitting there and everybody, the lights, everything, everybody had left. The lights had left. And it was this urge, this urge, this kind of nudge of like, why are you still here? Ooh, yes, I've had that. I've like, had that like, feeling. Like, why are you still here? The, uh -huh. the comedy store is left. Like, you not supposed to be here right now. Yes. So I was just like, oh, you tripping, girl. You high. That's mm -hmm. why I was like, oh, you're high. You're high. So I kept smoking, and it was like, nah, get the fuck out of here. Like, get out. I, <clears throat> what time? What time was it? It was at, It was maybe about, like, 2 o'clock in the morning, maybe something like that. Like, close to 3. Now, and I've been, now, this is where I say, too, that the ghosts protect you here, if they, especially if they know you and like you. And, and the... The original room is the main place where the, the spirits really are. Uh -huh. Because if you come in there with a fucking, like, a, uh, a you will bomb. It doesn't matter how fun, funny you are. The the comic spirits that's in there, don't fuck around. Uh -huh. They don't fuck around. You will bomb. I've, I've seen the best bomb in that room. But I came here one night. I used to host upstairs in the belly room, and I had a birthday party. And I came here, and I was drunk. I was I left. I was drunk, <laughs> but I knew I left one of my gifts upstairs. So I came back. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't even know in my brain what I was thinking, but I guess I thought I was going to... There used to be a rope in the back where we smoke weed at. Mm -hmm. There used to be a rope that would hang down from the fire escape. Oh, yeah. I thought I could climb that rope. No. So I'm on that rope. 
And it's so funny because I just was swinging, and it was almost like the the store was la- the we the I, we were I was laughing so fucking hard. I'm talking about I was laughing so hard, and it felt like the building was laughing with me. Like, take your drunk ass off, go leave. <laughs> take your so when I got uh, when I came the next day, Tommy was like. <laughs> The, why, the, I told Tommy, and Tommy was like, that's why the alarm kept going off. Oh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I've had some times in this place. Well, I've had sex in this place a couple of times. I've never had sex in this place what? before. I know. No, who would I have uh, sex with? I mean, I can. I mean, there's a lot of people you have no. sex with. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would not have sex with anybody in this place. I've had two ghost encounters, though. That's okay. sex enough for me. Okay, what's, what's your ghost? The first one was I was leaving the, I was in the main room and, you know, the green room where we hang out all the time before we go on. And it was like, same time, two o'clock, 2.30, something like that. And we were all smoking weed in the back. This was years ago. When Don Barris. To, when we used to be able to smoke weed yes, in the back. Yes, yes. And we're leaving we're getting we're walking off the main room stage walking out into the hallway the long hallway and i'm the last one out <clears throat> the lights are on and i look over and there's a man and i swear to god i've stuck to this story forever cuz it's real there's a man he's sitting in the chair with a gray coat on with a gray bowler hat on like an old timey hat and i can't see his face but he has the jacket and the hat and there's like smoke around him and i look over at him and i said Nope. And I ran down the hall, like ran down the hall. And I went to Jeff, Jeff Scott, RIP, who was like mm, I love Jeff. the the aficionado of this place. Like yeah. knew this place backwards Jeff is like the bomb. forwards. I he, feel like Jeff is here. He I is totally definitely, here. Definitely. And, and he's probably running the ghost. That's oh, probably yeah. why y'all are able to do the podcast down <clears> here. He probably is just he like. He probably came down here and was like, no, yes. I'm here now. Yes, and he loved you. And he oh, was like God, I love a Jeff. mentor to me too. And like, I remember running to him and being like, I think I saw a ghost. He's like, well, what did he look like? And I was like, <laughs> he had a gray hat and a jacket. And he goes, oh, that's Gus. And I'm like, what? Yeah, I heard about Gus. He was like, he ran security here when, uh, when this was Ciro's. And I'm like, what? And so I bet we're doing some Ouija board shit right now where we're just like giving them names and conjuring them and everything. No, no, I heard about Gus. It's, yeah. like, it's like you have to get approved by Gus yeah. or something like and that. Like, I looked at him and I was like, wow, ah, didn't see oh. a face. The second one was wow. really scary. The second one was really, really scary. And this one stuck with me. It was me, like Jade Cataprata, Tony Hinchcliffe, maybe, Matt Edgar, and a whole bunch of us stayed around late at night. And they all climbed up into the sound booth. And I was like, you know what? I'm in my 30s. Where is that at? Like up above the main room. They were like, oh, we're going to go smoke. It was like the building shut down. Oh, when you can go on top of the roof? Where Tommy is up in the sound booth, right? In the main room. And I'm like, I'm in my 30s. I'm going to sit down and just take a nap. And I, as soon as I closed my eyes, I heard a bang. Like the whole building shook. It was like, boom. And all of a sudden I hear, boom, 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 boom. they all come running out. And they're like, get out of here. Get out of here. We got to get out of here. There's something up there with us. We got to go. And I'm like, I didn't even like think. And I'm like, what was it? They're like, the whole building shut down. The whole reason we went up there is because they knew the security code so it wouldn't go off. And then something was up there with them, and they all ran out. And I was like, ooh, I'm getting chills just thinking about it. What do you mean something was up there? Something was up there with them that set the alarm off, and something crashed setting the alarm off, but it was was none of them. So they was just like, that ghost was like, you ain't supposed to be up here. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. (laughs) Okay. I love it. (laughs) <laughs> I love it. Ghost. Oh, I love ghosts. I mean, I'm, I don't have no problem with ghosts. Listen, I'm just like this. I don't got no problem with y'all. Mm-hmm. I don't want no trouble. Mm-hmm. I don't want no trouble. Just, we're cool. Just have my back. I've got yours. I believe in the OR thing. That's totally true. Oh, I'm telling you right now, when I, I, I my first experience with the OR, I came in there and 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 bombed so bad, disrespected another comic. Ooh. Uh, it was the first time I ever performed after the first time I performed. Is that the one in your book that yes. you talk about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. And I, I really wish I knew what this girl's name was that I dissed. But that the, the comedy store, that room was not. Having it. Was not happening. Mm-hmm. I threw up and everything. Oh, well, we've got fun stories to talk about with this that'll intertwine. Um, let's talk about Madonna. Madonna just launched her 
uh, tour that was canceled because she got an infection. Uh, what, oh, God. She had a bacterial infection, remember? And it was from kissing Drake? No, I think it was from like, a, well, you would think, maybe. It could have been. Some will say it was from the fillers that she took out of her. So she remember she was like a little scary there for a minute. Yeah. She just launched her tour in, in London over the weekend. Okay. And she's back. You th- okay, do you think that she's, back. she's gonna I, I don't think she's gonna outdo Beyonce? Here's the thing. She's not gonna over she's not gonna outdo Beyonce, but this is as close to Madonna being pinnacle, pinnacle. And I was a skeptic, then I saw the pictures, the videos, the they costumes. Say she's really good. It's so good. Okay. She looks amazing. Do we have I a love picture Madonna. of her? I love Madonna. I mean, uh, it's giving like art. She's 65. She's doing like she's 65. Uh, she's doing all of her music. This is her Taylor Swift Eras tour. So it's Madonna. I mean, I mean. Like, I'm, I'm there for it. There's Bob the Drag Queen in the back. I'm he was on here. It. Bob was here I before. I am there for it because think about it. Who brought out Vogue? Who brought out the, like, I mean, really put that eye on it, you yeah, know? Uh, yeah, Madonna, for and, sure. And it's just like, she was the first one. I mean, before Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor, I would say, is the first one to me. Yes, Elizabeth but Taylor. it's it's... It's giving everything. She has Look like her daughter, shoes. her daughter who's like 11. I think her name is Esther or something. And she's 11. She came out and started doing like duck walks and dips and like ka 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 ka. Like she just looks amazing. I uh, I'm so happy for her. Well, she's got know, a knee brace on, giving knee brace representation. You know, I did that in my special. I love mm-hmm. when old people tell it, mm-hmm. tell it real, tell it like a real <laughs> goddamn ACL. This is an ACL, motherfucker. Meniscus is a goddamn meniscus. You yes. can't replace them. You can't just replace them. You put a fucking knee brace on. It looks so. Do you know good. how responsible you are when you put the knee brace on? I love it. I love it. I I would definitely go see it. I would too. And I'm so happy she like dropped the like smoking weed and like wearing the grill. And like all the all the oh, like, look, gimmicks, she's yeah, just yeah, yeah. now like. But this she is actually me. cool. I met her when at SNL. She you met actually, Madonna at SNL? Yeah, I got a picture with. Her. I got a selfie with her. She's actually hella cool. Oh, I'm sure she's she's cool actually as hella shit. cool. She she actually is. she's just very much over it. That's yeah, the, you know what I'm saying. Gaga too. Over so what the fame? Over, just so fucking over it. Like it's almost like yeah, whatever. Like like it's just like yeah, okay, yeah, I know. I'm I'm Madonna. Yeah. Well, yeah, I she know. has a song called "Bitch, I'm Madonna." Yeah, yeah you know she's what I'm like, saying. Whatever. And Gaga's the shit. I love Gaga. This episode of Just Saying is sponsored by BetterHelp. Do you ever feel like your brain is getting in its own way? I know I do. Why, you ask? Because I live in this world. There are days where I am just fogged up mentally. I don't know how to get out of it. Uh, The weight of the world right now is just so heavy, but yet I'm supposed to get on stage and make people laugh. And it's a lot. And I get it. And you're not alone. Uh... You know, like, you know what you should do, what's good for you, but you just can't do it. Therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back so you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. And BetterHelp is just the place to work with a licensed therapist to help you get through that fog. Leslie and I talked this episode, and just to let you know, it is so nice and comforting to just sit across from someone and just vent and be real with them for a second and just have that knowledge of being like, oh, this person knows exactly what I'm going through because they can relate to it themselves and have words of advice and confidence and just that sense of just uh, shedding off that weight of just the work week, the day, the month, whatever's going on in your life. And BetterHelp is so good for that because it's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Uh, Make your brain your friend. With BetterHelp, visit BetterHelp.com slash Saiyan, S-A-Y-I-N, today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Saiyan, S-A-Y-I-N. Treat your brain right. Now, SNL premiered over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) How does... How does that make you feel? It don't make me feel anything. Yeah. I just be laughing because I just be like, look at the guests of that. Because we always was just like that. Like me and Keenan would be like, who they gonna have this week? And then we, they would say, and be like, okay, it might be this, this, and this, but we always know how it's gonna turn out. Mm-hmm. And they opened up with Pete, and I'll just be like, okay. Well, they 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 doing with- Bad Bunny too this week. Next week, yeah, this week, which is always good when they be the music and 
the music the, and the gas. It's kind of hard for them as the hosts, but it's kind of good for us because then. You know. But I think they got Pete on because he was supposed to close it out before the writer strike. Oh, is that right? I think that's what happened. That's what they were talking hey, about. You're gonna open up with that. But then they were like Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are here, and I'm just like, oh god, of course. Wait a minute. So Taylor Swift was the musical guest. She no, she brought up Ice Spice because they were together at the VMAs together, so they're friends now. I'm confused. So instead of Pete introducing Ice oh, Spice, they, it was Taylor being like, I'm here too. And everyone's like, And Taylor was always, are. yeah, Taylor's always at SNL. Taylor Swift right now, I know, she is always at SNL. She's like Bloody Mary she's like right a now. Real, she's like a real friend of SNL. Yeah. Her and Miley Cyrus. That makes sense. I get that. Mm, so Miley hella cool too. We'll see, we'll see, um, you know, we'll see how SNL, you, you talk about SNL in your book. Mm -hmm. And I actually remember, I don't know if you remember this, Probably not. But probably I remember could. right before you went to go audition for SNL, uh -huh. you and I were on the front patio. Okay. And you were like, I'm going to go audition for SNL. And I said... What did well, I say? You, oh, my God. No, it's good. I should have told you so I was going to no. put it in the book. I should have gotten a chapter. Yes. <laughs> no, and I said, um, well, what characters are you going to do? And you're like, I'm not going to do any characters. Yeah. I'm gonna I, just going to do me. Yeah. And I was like... I remember, I remember, I think I remember now. And I think I remember you saying, just try to throw something in there if you got it. Mm -hmm. I remember we was talking about some character, something that I thought I could I, do. Yeah, it was something some, like that. I can't remember. Because exactly I was reading was. that chapter and you were like, oh yeah, this is when they were like, oh, we need more African-American women on the show. And I remember they're like, Tiffany and, and um, uh, what's, uh, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, who went and actually was a cast member. Oh, uh, Sashir? Yes, yeah, Sashir, yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh yeah, it was like this mass exodus to New York. <laughs> and, exactly. And, that's, and, uh, a, that's a great description. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just remember thinking, I don't have no characters. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go up and do comedy because y'all supposed to know what to do with me. But I loved how raw you were in the book about it. You were just like, this is how it was. And Dude, this is I how mean, it went. I don't know if you remember this, that my brother had died. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you remembered like at the, on those years before SNL, I was like a, like, I would come in that long cardigan with my hair spiked out and shit. Oh, yeah. With a don't give a fuck on my face. Like, you remember, that's that's just, that's just some times where I was like, I don't give a fuck. Like, mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. Like, I wish somebody would say something to me. But I do love the, like, like if you say something to Leslie and she's like, what'd you say? <laughs> Everyone scatters. Like, just we're. I'm just like, and that was fun. I just Let hope you have a good to, life. Let and, me just uh, explain something to y'all. <laughs> I am sick of motherfuckers disrespecting me. Just because I don't fucking cart off the fucking, uh, uh, you know, parking lot and make you put your Kiss phone and, into yeah. a shit and all yeah, that. Yeah. I don't, I can't, I've been in this, this space, comedy store. It used to be my motherfucking home. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that they used to have that booth over there by the refrigerator? Over in inside of the the um and the, where the bartenders are, there used to be a little booth and little booth over there by the uh, freezer and shit. By the freezer. Remember the you know the opening that goes towards the back. Uh -huh. There used to be a little booth right there. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes, yes. I, yes. Seriously, I would come. I I lived here. I wanted my spots here. I would bring my food, warm my food up in the microwave, which I still think is the same fucking microwave. <laughs> <laughs> and Probably I would, is. Well, warm my food up and eat it right there. Like I, this used to be my fucking home. Mm -hmm. So it's like when people come in here and I see people and they disrespect me. It's just like, yo, do you not remember that I'm a crazy ass bitch? Like, don't fucking think that you could disrespect me just because I got famous, mm -hmm. motherfucker. Look, my business managers have a just in case Leslie lose her fucking mind and whoop somebody ass fund. Yeah, that is literally one set. <laughs> So, it's it's because the, you, <laughs> the, the in case of emergency glass, like where you just yeah, break man, it. Yeah, man. Because listen, 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 listen. I'm listen. I will be cordial. I'm not. I, I hate when people think that I'm just this roughneck or whatever. But y'all don't know how much motherfuckers poke the bear, mm -hmm. and people here try to play that mental game, like that little high school shit. And let me tell you something about me. I never played the high school shit. I'm gonna fight you. No, don't play my. Don't play with my brain. I'm going to fight you. Yeah. I'm going to just slap the shit out of you, or I'm going to push you down, <laughs> uh -huh. or I'm going to fucking <laughs> shake the shit. I'm going to do something, because fuck you for fucking with my brain. Yeah. Now, and now people be like, oh, well, Lizzie, why don't you play the main... The main I'm, oh, I'm smart enough to do that, but you know what? I want to whoop your ass, because I hate people that feel like that they need to do that to people. Why you here except for to be on stage and tell jokes? Mm -hmm. Why you doing this fuck shit? Mm-hmm. 
And it just shows how mediocre you are. So you shouldn't be here anyway. Ooh. I like that. I, I'm, but do you get what I'm talking I about? I totally well, get this it. This is a comedy club. The mm-hmm. only reason we're supposed to be here now, we hang out afterwards yeah. and smoke joints and shit, but that's just like, this is our fucking job and we're fucking letting off steam after our job. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But if you come here to play mind games Arrogant and try to and act cocky, like, oh, boo, 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 yeah, boo. Yeah, and yeah. there's a lot of motherfuckers I, that played that I, game I, with I, me. I, and I don't. I don't play that game. I'm the same I way. I don't play that game. I will confront <laughs> you or I... Or mark you out my life because you know what? It is cold in my darkness. And trust and believe when you do not get the less dog essence, mm-hmm. you feel it. Mm-hmm. You feel it. I get it. I, I'm not, I done got more calm now to where I just really just stopped fucking with motherfuckers and just stopped talking to them or whatever. But I used to be that type of bitch. He's being so fucking cordial like he got fucking company over and shit. No, we I know. get it. I'm the same way because people look at me and they're like, mm-hmm. oh, you know, he doesn't have his he doesn't have as many specials. He doesn't have that many Man, credits. Fuck that. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I pull my weight here as much as everybody else I does. I wish a mo- the motherfuckers don't understand where people started at yeah. and where I've seen you mm-hmm. and you, you still put in the work and mm-hmm. you still here and you doing it because mm-hmm. you are funny. Like Fahim. Everybody's still, yeah, lot, Fahim. There's a lot of people that I go, oh, wow, they put in the fucking work. We put in the work. Yeah, And everybody's that. journey's different. You was the first one to start doing gay jokes, too. I'm going to be oh, honest with you. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I'm, that was, he was the first gay comic for me. Oh. I mean, no, real talk that I was like, oh, I'll listen to a set. And it was fun. And I remember you and I got put up back back and forth when I first all the time. It, it was me, you, and Rick Ingram always flipping, and I was like, "How the hell am I supposed to follow her?" Um, and but it made so me good. stronger. Exactly, and always made me stronger. And that's what you. And when you have these do. younger guys coming in, being like, "Move yes, the fuck out of here!" You you born with so much fucking privilege, and you still chose <laughs> to be mediocre. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah, I said it. Well, I said it. I want to talk more about this since you have a book coming out. What are we thinking about? <sighs> what are we thinking about this Jada Pinkett Smith? Oh God, please! I don't. It's you know how when you just want to just throw out whatever the old mustard, like throw the old mustard bottle away. I'm Is sick Jada of seeing Pinkett it. Smith an old mustard bottle? I'm just tired of talking about it. Yeah. But she's not letting us get over it. it, it have you seen her? Re- she's I'm like just, I rebuke her-, her in the name of Satan. <laughs> Her her soulmate was Tupac Shakur. She said that Tupac said that he had alopecia. She's introduced her kids to mushrooms. She said she divorced Will, but didn't divorce him six years ago. Why are we still talking about this? Why? This is the question. Why do we care? We don't care. We only care because it's being shoved down our fucking throat. I always be feeling like shit like that be distractions, distracting us from something else. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I listen, I already told y'all what I felt about this shit. I'm just tired. Of, I'm tired of everybody pushing this, whatever this agenda is that you think that needs to make you famous. I don't know what she's doing. Yeah. I don't I don't know. But all I know is like, damn, girl, your mom didn't be like, yo, the <laughs> shit that's in the house, stay in the house. It don't go out the house. She says she didn't cheat on Will. It was Who an gives inti- a fuck? Yeah, I, I know. don't care. I we know. don't care. Do you think Chris? Do you think Chris Rock is over it as well? Because he did the forward in your book. Well, and I see, was just my thing, I think, yeah. I think Chris did the work. I think the, Chris is doing the work. Uh, Chris is doing the fucking work. Mm-hmm. He's doing the work. He's got. And then y'all have to realize all this shit happened in front of both of these men's children. Yeah. Come on, man. And Family, in front of moms the, and shit. In come front on, of the man. world. Like, come on, man. This shit was fucked up. Yeah. It's a fucked up thing all the way around. We just, well, I, I, me, just, I'm just, this is fucked up all the way around. And people say, oh, it doesn't affect you, Leslie. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. This is two black men that did this shit on a big ass fucking forum. Fuck. I, I'm mad for both of them. Like both of them is got a, is suffering. But I do believe that Chris is doing the work. He is. He's doing the work. And this is another thing that I always tell comics. Like this is what you're su- you supposed to take your pain or whatever it is you're going through and say it on stage, man, because it is definitely at least 10 people in the audience is going through the same shit you're going through. But without physical assault. Would you, I'm not going to assault anyone. No, I'm saying oh. what, what well, Will did. We did talk about yeah. a couple of assaults, didn't we? Um, She's not going to hurt anyone. It's not like I'm going to run up. On, I, would, I wouldn't run up on the stage and stop No, nobody. we know when. But 
But also, if they're separated for six it depends, years, though it depends, though. Like, but but was they separated when he slapped? Yes, that's what I don't get. Too. I do not get it either. So, uh, okay, but then at this point, I what is what is the fucking matrix of Jade, Jada, and Will? I don't understand. I, their and we never will. And Why I'm, is he at the red table if y'all separated? She says you fuck have to read the table. book to find out. That's what she said. Man, bitch, fuck you <laughs> in that book. <laughs> And then it's gonna, then you're gonna be like, ain't nobody gonna buy it, and then you're just gonna read the whole book at the red table. Fuck well, off. Well, by the way, the name of the book is called Worthy. But is that not sound like a designer imposter hey. perfume they sell at CVS next to Shania Twain's Moon Shadows? Right? I need you to do me a favor. Sure. I need you to unscrew that flat part of the mic mm-hmm. and then take the spiky part and shove it into the side of my head. Oh, okay. We'll be we'll be doing that right after this. Thanks. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Worthy of what, bitch? I know. Worthy. Oh, and you know what that's... Like James Worthy? Well, Worthy, like... (laughs) From the Lakers? How? Do you know what the tagline is? I already have the commercial in my head. It's Jada, her alopecia glowing in the moon. You know what? I'm not not dealing with you. With the fabric billowing behind her, and it says, Worthy, keep my name out of your fucking mouth. Yo, and then the hologram hologram of Tupac saying, man, you know I wasn't fucking with you. (laughs) Like, on real talk, like, uh, this is why these people are getting away with all these lies. Because you know good and damn well if Tupac was a lie, he might have fucked Jada, but, like, it had been like... <laughs> Stop. Stop. I know. I wish the holograms really was, like, the real people. Like, they can bring up and, like, maybe have 10 seconds that they really can be. And then him come back and go, man, fuck that. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you who really shot me. Oh, that would be great. Like AI needs to you know up what I'm their saying? game. Like, yeah. like like Marilyn Monroe come back and go, you know them goddamn Kennedys did it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the pills. <laughs> you know goddamn John and them did it. <laughs> Selena's like, God damn it, get out of the Yes. Y'all uh, let me get shot by a fucking goddamn fuck. <laughs> Jim, Jimmy Hearn is like, it was, I ain't choking, somebody tried to kill me. Oh, I would love that. Man. If just the holograms some, just solved mur- man, murder mysteries. Man, it would be just be, that'd be a good show. Mm-hmm. You write that. Mm-hmm. That is, ooh. Okay. Three more stories. I want to go. Let's go. Okay. Stories. Let's oh, do that's it. what you do. You do stories. I do stories that we hear see, in the I, news and we talk about them. I see, I didn't know that. Yeah. I just, every time I saw you, you were just, like, why are we talking about Madonna? And I'm, I'm like, like, well, I, <laughs> I did not know that. Listen, because every time I see it, the, the clips and stuff, y'all are doing, talking about other we stuff. We just riff so, it. Yeah. Oh, so I, I can't. Like, you know what? I probably should have paid attention. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Oh, you got a whole premise and uh-huh. shit. Uh huh. There's a whole premise. It's organized. It is giving professional. Oh, I didn't know because I would have came with an opinion. No, you have. You have been, I, it's off the top of my head. This you've is been bad. giving opinions. Don't this you worry. This is like some lie detector answers. <clears throat> okay, so here's a story that we found. It, okay. it is about a man in Connecticut who found $5,000 and claimed finders keepers. Okay. He has a larceny charge dropped after giving the cash back. So this guy, his name is Robert. Withington, he said he felt like he hit the lottery after discovering a bag outside of a bank. Oh, uh, dude. So, yes. Don't be dumb. That's he, dumb. That's he was, dumb. He was charged with larceny for keeping yeah. $5,000. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then returned the money. The charge has been dropped. Okay. He appeared. Uh, Is in, he white? I don't you, know. You know he's black. They locked his ass under the jail. Well, I'm going to say yes because it says Connecticut man. Mm, mm, um. Mm. He uh, appeared in Bridgeport Superior Court for a hearing on Wednesday where a state prosecutor announced the decision after Withington returned the money according to the outlet. His name was Winnington? W- Robert Withington. So he already had some money. In Connecticut. That's some greedy ass motherfucker. The, the fact that he was able to, to put, you know, because if I took it, I'd be like, okay, I'll give it back. But I spent like 673 of it already. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. You know what I'm saying? So if you found $5,000, you would keep it. Not in a money bag and then buy a bank. That's I know. so obvious That's that it belongs so to the bank. Obvious. It would, if anything, I would call the bank hotline and be like, yo, there's a bag of money out here. And then you get the reward for turning it in. Oh, you get a reward? Let's assume. I, I ain't probably even got to not a reward. I'm just not going to do nothing dumb. I, yeah. I'm, I probably wouldn't even pay attention to it. I probably think it was a trick. But see, I did the same thing. Over uh, over the weekend, I found an AirPod. I know it's a little different than $5,000. Yeah, but AirPods are expensive. They're you like, mean like the ear thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like, those are like 
Okay. A hundred and something dollars yeah. each. Yeah. And people and lose them I found all the one time. in the in the locker room in my gym and it was by like the hair dryer. And I'm drying my hair and I look over and I'm like, hmm, that's not mine. And I've been there where I've lost my air my earbuds and it sucks because then you get it tells you where your device is and you have to go look for it and freak yeah, out Yeah, because how can people really steal it if it does yeah. that or they unprogram it or something well they people can't steal it and reprogram them really people are awful oh that's disgusting. so i took the airpod went down to the front desk and said i found this in the locker room there you go and they were like thank you so much you know what you want a motherfucking cookie because that's not five thousand dollars motherfucker i God know damn how you compare our airpod <laughs> Lord, you know, you know, you know what? what? Let me explain something to you. The people that clean up the locker room would have did the same thing. Would they have? Yes. I don't think so. Because I would have been like somebody that cleaned it up. Saw it. What if you saw? Yeah. What if there was a wallet? What if it was a, a purse? That wallet yeah. is all that stuff is just like you know better. If you see a wallet and you know they got ID and all that, that's just you just know better. You know better. You fucking know better. I mean, even if you just did the kindest thing of putting it in an envelope mm -hmm. and mailing it back to mm -hmm. them. I mean, real talk. Mm -hmm. Just like, don't be an asshole. Like, that's why I be saying, what what in your mind? Like, because I've had friends like that that just be stupid and just be so greedy and on the grift that you just do dumb stuff. I had a friend that had a job and she had a, this job was so good for her. And, and they, I mean, they would do things because they're dealing with money. You have a bond. Like, you have a money bond. They do have to test you sometimes. They put $100 on the floor. And she picked it up and took it. And I was like, <sighs> oh, that's ugh. girl. Uh. And not only did they fire her, they charged her ass. Like, like, what the fuck is a hundred dollars? You need a hundred dollars? That bad. That bad. Hell, even like a like if I see like a five dollar bill or something on the ground, I'll take it. But then I know to give it back. Like if I see like a, a homeless yeah, person, and I'm like, I was supposed to now, see this I, to give it to that I mean, person. Even if you found it on the ground yeah. outside, that's something different than at your job. At your job, right in front of your fucking desk <laughs> with cameras that's, everywhere. That's like a motherfucking <laughs> rabbit, uh, like a cage. Like yeah. I don't know how the rabbit fall for that shit. You don't see a big ass cage? Yeah. I, no, dumbass. Oh look at carrot. It's like that's yeah. the thing that I'd be and like I used to love that show like what would you do you know that song <gasps> oh, me too I used to love that show because it really tells people's character about like what the fuck you would really do and 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 people are tested mm -hmm. we really really gotta get to the business of understanding that it is time for us to start making money and making prosperous decisions on people's happiness mm -hmm. instead of people's grief and sadness now. Mm -hmm. It's time to make money off of happiness. Mm -hmm. You can make just as much because you don't understand that now that we've let this grief, terrible machine that's making everybody so fucking sad, they don't even have control of it anymore. Oh, I and know. And it's spread like wildfire. I know. And now we have to fucking fix that shit, man. We everybody have to, is mm -hmm. sad. Everybody is fucking depressed, sad, broken and hopeless. Yeah. And it shouldn't be like that. I know. It absolutely shouldn't yeah, be. Yeah, I mean, I mean, think, think about the SAG shit, like the SAG shit that's going on. Like, I'm glad the writers got their uh, their deal, but I kind of wish that they would have stayed out there with the SAG people until they got their deal, because it almost feels like they're going, yeah, fuck the fuck the actors. We could we could pay the writers, and then there's soon going to be some actors that's going to cross the fucking line. Mm -hmm. Like, that's fucked up. I think up. there already are, yeah, actually. I mean, but that's fucked yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, and it's like our job, especially like with all this stuff. Like I, I remember I was here on Saturday. In were you here Saturday? I can't remember. No, what, I yeah. did San Luis the Bistros. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, it was packed here. Really? Packed. Damn. Packed. And I was like, why? And I was like, oh, I know, because everyone's sad as hell. Like, there's so much going Absolutely on in the world, and people are like, we Justin. need to get outside, Absolutely. turn off the news. Justin, Justin, and this is and what's we are so the Avengers to and be that's like. That's what I tell everybody: stop <laughs> fucking with the comedians. Yeah. We're the we're the temperature. We're the, the thermometers. Mm -hmm. We're the fucking like we're the jesters, motherfucker. Like like when the king wanted to raise taxes or kill a couple of people, he sent the jester out. Not to in that order. Shit. Yeah, yeah. No, real talk. <laughs> like he, if some bad shit was gonna happen, oh, uh -huh. we about to raise taxes. Bring that funny motherfucker out here, <laughs> and he would talk shit about the king. Uh huh. And everybody will laugh it off, and but still pay the taxes. Do you get what the mm -hmm, fuck I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like y'all better fucking start. Like it's we better start get to the business of fucking trying to find some goddamn joy instead of sucking onto. Because grief is 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 um a magnet to to more and more. You'll continue. You'll just rabbit hole mm -hmm. because that's 
what that shit is. Mm-hmm. It's darkness. And it just consumes yeah, you. And, and you it's not are fun. The, and it's you are the only motherfucker can, that can save yourself from that. Now, the, so around, <clears throat> uh, the environment and surroundings, that's up to the whole community. We need to just fucking start looking at that. That's and, why we're failing. And we recognize don't give a fuck. it and cut it out. It's cut it just out. too. It's just too much. What cut about me? What about me? Yes. What about me? Yes. What about me? What about yes. me? It's too much of that. Yeah. Uh, well, I want to say thank you for saying that. But I also want. I haven't gotten uh, the opportunity to say thank you because you um, helped me with the telethon that I did back in May. Yeah, the, the drag is in dangerous telethon. You stepped it up. I asked you, hey, you want to do a sketch? And without a beat, you were like, let's go. Yeah, because let's do it, Justin. I know, dude, motherfuckers. This is what I don't understand. Jesus would not fuck with none of y'all. Mm-hmm. Do if you read the actual, I mean, which we don't know if that's the actual Bible. I'm at this point starting to be questioning about that. Yeah. But from what the stories I have read, he only hung out with motherfuckers that drank too much, hookers, cows, yeah. <laughs> tax collectors, because those are the people that need the fucking help. He's not supposed to have to come back and save the people who's I supposed know. to be fucking saved. Could you and imagine? I tell my aunt and them all the time. If I I had to talk to y'all, I would never go to church because I would be petrified at you thinking that like like my aunt and, and they're better now. They're way better now. But my aunt actually opened up her fucking mouth and said that they choose to do that. And I said, whoo, now I'm 50, I'm 55. Oh. I'm allowed to talk to you like this now because I feel like we in the same age range. So let me tell you something. So they chose to do that. I said, you got three babies, daddies. Mm hmm. I said, so you chose to be straight. You chose to be a hoe. <laughs> and she was like, that's not the, that's not the same. What, why is that the same? I was born that way. Is that what you're about to say? You was born mm-hmm. that way. Born hoe. Can and there, straight. Can there be, I was born a hoe? I'm just saying, do you get what the fuck yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I don't fucking like, the, and, and then they're like, well, why they can't have children? The same reason that our cousin who's fucking doing infertility fucking shots can't. It's the same. Like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? What? And then they'll go to that verse that's in the Bible and it's just like, yo, that's it's, it, you're not even reading the whole fucking verse. Yeah. And uh, when did he make you the abominators, though? Mm-hmm. That's what I want to know. Mm-hmm. When did he come down and say, hey, it's abomination, but you're going to be the abominator? You got None of y'all motherfuckers. I remember, hey, if you uh, can knock this wood off my shoulder, do you get what yeah. that, That's what the fuck I remember. It's like, no, nah, don't judge me. Don't judge. And you're going to be judged the same fucking way that you judging me. Any one of y'all that's fucking innocent, throw the fucking stone. Mm-hmm. I know. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot. A and, lot. And, and we can do it. Mm-hmm. It's it's possible. It's possible. The way that it got here is the way that it can get the fuck out. Preach. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Welcome to you, my goddamn sermon. Yeah, you were you are entitled to be passionate and to my liquor bottle. Oh, do you have a liquor bottle? No, but you you I'm gonna do it the way oh. you do. It. <laughs> You're That's like, how you did it. Where's, I need my liquor bottle. You, you mean just it. water? That's okay. How you did it, though. So let's talk about this because I do feel like people are going insane, and I feel like this girl is as well. Um, this is a woman mm-hmm. oh, who lives in an abandoned <laughs> hospital just in time she for white. Halloween. She white. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is her. She works in TV, uh, and so she literally, I think, she spent about. Uh, $5,000 to live in this abandoned hospital. She actually got the $5,000 from a mysterious bag outside of a bank. Because <laughs> 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 that's the only reason you should say it's been $5,000. But also, like, I, there is nothing that terrifies me more than the unknown like that. In an abandoned hospital, could you do this? Nah, for, for what is the end we game? Need, we need a show. What's the end game? I don't know what the end game. You live there. I free rent. I get or like what? Nobody bothers see, this you. This is why I don't nobody like this generation because that's just <laughs> dumb. Mm-hmm. Hey, did she do on a documentary? Is she did no? But it makes me think there should be a documentary series where like five comics go into like an abandoned warehouse and nope. spend the night. You wouldn't do that. I totally see, would. I see all them shows and I'd be like, y'all ain't got nothing else to do with your life, and you need therapy because like. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, okay, like the special forces thing. Like there's there's Oh, Tara Reed. Uh, it's so good though. It's good uh-huh. because I, it's good because it's very entertaining. But I go, you really need to just get some therapy because mm-hmm. your physical, it's nothing wrong with your physical. You know you can't be no goddamn Navy SEAL. You fucking went there to get your goddamn mental fix. Go to the fucking therapist. But like, 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 just the stupid shit that people do, like the fasting. Like, you paying a thousand dollars to fast. You paying a thousand dollars to starve. Yeah. No, you ain't gotta pay money to starve. Just eat celery. Just fucking, just or call me every day. Pay me two fifty and call me, and I'll be like, stop eating, bitch. But listen, this is her. This is what I'm saying. Is she white or black? She's white. Okay, so again, let me. This <laughs> is this again shows the privilege. Oh. The privilege. Now, and nobody, the privilege of white motherfuckers. Oh, I'm just gonna spend 5000 and stay in an abandoned hospital and nobody questions it. Uh, you, a black person, said that, they'd be like, girl, what? <laughs> what? 5000 Bitch, you owe me $50. See, I, that's. Who you spending 5000 Where uh, you get $5,000 from? Uh uh-uh. uh. You owe me money, ho. How you stay in an abandoned hospital? You that's... don't catch AIDS. <laughs> You gonna catch COVID? You gonna catch monkeypox? You stupid. What the fuck? And on a scooter? On a scooter? We would be texting that bitch every day. You a dumbass oh. bitch. That's why don't nobody fuck with you. That's why you never get invited to the parties. But no, you white motherfuckers just encourage that shit. Oh my God, Judy's so fucking courageous. Judy is a dumb cunt. And Judy needs to get a boyfriend. I'm sorry, Good but do you think she's on the? Do you think she's on the scooter to be like, oh, there's a little girl named Emily like running down the hall after me? Like, you know like, what? No. You know what, Justin? If Mm-mm. you need to feel that to not think that this is a crazy ass dumb bitch with a scooter no. riding through in an abandoned building, no. you go to fuck ahead. No, this this is what upsets me. How y'all try to scare black people? Well, I, I, scare I have met crackheads. <laughs> I've met a crackhead. Have you ever met? Have you ever horridly said I stood on the street at nighttime and dealt with crackheads? Uh, it is like thriller, motherfucker. No. So trust me, them, though. Some of this shit that y'all showing me, I'd just be like, this is white people self-induced shit. <laughs> you know what I wish? I wish somebody would just break in and just chase her on that scooter with a bat. My idea of a haunted house is going to see the Taylor Swift movie. Hilarious. That's my idea of a haunted house. No, my haunted house is just being at an open mic. Oof. Oh my God, I feel like that's where I'm going if I go to hell. I'm just going to go to an open mic show and I'm going to be like, no, <laughs> don't do that. Jo- <laughs> I, would, I would just kill myself every night. Like, uh, the devil would be like, you know you're already in hell. I don't give a fuck, devil. I'm going to still kill myself. <laughs> okay. I'm going to still kill myself. Devil. All right. All right, Leslie. Well, we're going to take, oh take a really quick break. Okay, because I like this. This is fun. Because I have a very exciting surprise for you. Please tell me it's some dick. I'm not, it's, well, it's, it, it is, it's, it's like dick that I can use. Well, I can't <laughs> guarantee that. Then you but just it can not a really a good help friend. with your life. Okay? Oh, we'll be right God. back after this. Who is this dude? All right. Well, we are back. <laughs> And I'm so glad you guys decided already, to come back. I already got a star reader, and I got to call her if I'm This if is gonna, Kyle. Take, can I take a picture of you, Kyle? Because she's going to be like, oh, you on the fuck shit. Oh, no. This is Kyle. Kyle Thomas. He is a astrologer, works for... Oh, he, he's he's been, an astrologist. He's been on Extra. He's a writer for Cosmo. Really? Uh, oh, I mean, so you what might be else? A real You've deal. done so many oh, things. Fuck. You about to tell me some shit? Yes. He actually uh, is a friend of mine, and he uh, told me that me and Evan were going to get together like two years ago. Exactly. Oh. Oh, exactly. what? Fuck me. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Exactly when it happened. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, okay, okay. So, so where we Leslie, start? I, had to, I had to bring this in because A, it's Halloween. B, Leslie is very into signs. She's been doing, you know, her sets. I'm, she will she will look I'm, at someone. And I can read it so good, right? Mm-hmm. I'm so good. She does and a good I just read. had a reading. I just had a reading. It's today, Monday, right? I had a reading last night. Mm-hmm. And nice. we kind of might have figured out that I was born somewhere like... Uh, at 12 midnight because I've been getting my family to research it uh-huh. and the most that we found was this article where they announced the births and mine wasn't on there. For some reason, my time is not on my birth certificate. She doesn't have the time on her birth so certificate. So a lot of people remember that it might have been late at night and okay. for some reason, I've always felt like midnight and she was like, I feel like it's 12, 13, like 12, Ooh. 13, 12, 18 Crazy. because um, then when she looked it up, it was just like, I'm a heavy Virgo. I'm like a heavy Virgo. It's like... Okay, but like, where's the man's? Okay, 
So take it away, Kyle. And Gemini, <laughs> Gemini's been trying to get really in my fucking face, and Gemini's be too f- for me. <laughs> and because they're it's all like, over the we're, place. We're structured. We're structured, and Gemini's is just like, uh huh, yeah, uh huh, two faced, right? No, they just all over the place. Aloof. Not even that. They just <laughs> <laughs> insane. <laughs> Leslie is Virgo. Yes. yes. All right. And I'm so, a heavy Virgo. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, kind of sleuth a little bit online and tried to find your birth details. I noticed that we weren't able to find your birth time. I know, um, right? But I hate we that. can still see a ton of everything that's going on in your chart. So this is your birth chart. Okay. Even without the time. And we can still know so much about it because we can see how the outer planets are interacting. My birth chart is dope. And it's real sexy, but you've got lots of Virgo, like you said. Um, that's you have stellium there, so that means that that energy is like very, very infused within your core at every level. But the other thing that I like to look at is how the planets are actually interacting, because we can learn more about your personality. And one of the things that I think is so beautiful about astrology and prov- profound is that now we can see why you are so brilliant and groundbreaking. Mm-hmm. And it's because of the way that these planets are interacting. And Mars is one of the most powerful planets in your chart because he is he is hitting all of that energy and especially in your communication realm. So like, that's why I mean- The God you, of War, shocking. Right? <laughs> oh, is that what Mars is? Yeah. Mars, yeah, Yo, it's fire, it's sex. That mm-hmm. is yes. real talk. Like I will fucking ride or die. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I feel like I'm that person that will be like, nah, I'm I'm the captain now. Mm-hmm. Well, the other thing to hear is that what makes you so forceful in a really, I feel like impactful way is that because you have some planetary interactions that ultimately allow you to dig deep into your psyche, mm-hmm. that's what allows you to illuminate it for other people so well. Okay. And whether or not that they want to actually see it or not, right? this is why you're like, I don't give a fuck. I'm right. just going to tell you what I think and you're going to like it or you're going to hate it and it doesn't matter to me because I'm right. I'm going there. And, and, that, and, and that's a if, Virgo thing for real. Like, but you know the, I'm right. I'm yeah. never wrong. And I don't be wanting to be right. It's just facts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but that's the thing about it. I'm not conceited. I'm convinced. (laughs) But but that's the kind of thing is like, so for instance, like Pluto is the planet of like the shadow side. And so with that being united with your sun, that's where your, your, your inner dark side is also something that you've explored Mm -hmm. throughout many different times Mm -hmm. and eras of your life. And that is Again, what makes you so... You got to know your shadow. Exactly. You got to know your shadow. Are you kidding? Your shadow is your friend. Your shadow is the motherfucker that you really want to be, but you just keep ignoring him because you think he's not good enough to be shown. But the shadow, once you start noticing the shadow, that's when you're going to become a bad motherfucker. Ooh. Shadow is like a super super power that you're not using. I love that. I don't know my shadow. Yeah, you do. I do. You absolutely... I absolutely do? You absolutely do. (laughs) I don't know why it came like that, but you have to know what my shadow is. You absolutely do know what your shadow is. Everything that you're scared, like I'll put it oh, like this. Oh, like your darkness. Uh, it's it's just like, yeah. it's like the things that I hated about myself. I hated how loud I was. I hated how tall I was. I hated my feet. I hate, I you know, stuff like that. That's, that's really your personality. Mm-hmm. Like, thank God I started liking my hair. Thank God I started liking my height and my feet and shit. Because there's some big bitches out there that needed to be fucking influenced, that needed to see a person like me make it. Oh my God, she looks so good in that suit. Who made that suit for yeah. her? Oh, she can look good in that suit. It's the self saboteur. It's so yes. real. I, I know it sounds crazy, and I, but the world is so obvious now. You, we just need to say shit yeah. so people can get permission. Go to therapy, men. Yeah. Go to therapy. Like no <laughs> yeah. real talk, women. Go to therapy. Talk about your shit. Stop killing motherfuckers. Stop being evil. Stop saying you a good person. You not. Like, real talk. Yeah, totally. Well, I mean, the the other thing that I want to mention for you here is that you're going through one of the most important periods of your entire life. In this energy, you're not going to die, but you're going to die right now. I'm dying in about five years. (laughs) Right now. Five years, I'm going to die. So I'm doing everything I can. It's a bucket list. The the big thing here is that, so you started to feel. No, you're right here. Okay, no. You are, you have been feeling a lot of transitions around your relationships. Yes. Very significantly since even last year. Mm-hmm. And Saturn has been going across the sky. Somebody tell me this guy, Saturn is a motherfucker. Yes, I know. And so that's, this energy is going to really be affecting you until 2026. Now, 
Saturn, even though it can be like- What the, does that mean? The, the, the bad bitch that's really ultimately here trying to- does that mean I ain't gonna have no man until 2026? No, any, oh, okay. relation, any relationship that you actually begin now though, okay. has the power to last forever. Really? It, yes, yes, yes. And so that's why the big thing Holy here- Holy shit. You're, you're going through a lot of karmic lessons around your intimacy, your sense of your love language, oh, oh, how you even, create- Oh, how, how I make you, room for people exactly. in my room, in my, yes. in my life. Yes, that's that's and, been and, a big thing. And how you also also want to recreate you yourself in the next, essentially, 15 years. Because this is a, it's a 30 year cycle here. So that's why the last time you went through this was about 15 years ago. Yeah. So look Somebody said that. like 38. Well, she said 38. It was like 38 you went through this transition because Saturn, yes. Saturn went through the transition. Yes, yes. Oh my God, that makes so much sense because it's so, I'm so, like I'm even doing it on stage. Mm -hmm. Like I am like past the slut suit. Like I am a educated, beautiful black woman who got it going on. If that don't turn you on, <laughs> That's actually in her Bumble profile. Yeah. <laughs> we already know the pussy gonna be good. <laughs> we already know that. I'm too educated for the pussy not to be good. <clears throat> yeah. So you don't believe me when I say I can suck your dick? You don't believe me? Oh, you're in front of two gay men. We know. <laughs> and that's what the fuck I'm talking about. With a bitch wearing a harness. Yeah, exactly. I know, I know. Exactly. A decorative harness. You sit here looking at original <laughs> soup coolers. Yeah. My shit is soup coolers. I, I cool this is the soup. power of three right here. Okay. Oh my God. If we did our shit together, oh, oh my God. We might solve hunger. We solve Sisters? world hunger. Sisters? <laughs> <Right. laughs> <laughs> We just blew the roof off, <laughs> right. literally. We blew the world. <laughs> yep. And um, then the world was saved by three mm -hmm. motherfuckers just <laughs> shucking <laughs> <laughs> what, what else? Do you have anything oh else for yeah, her? I mean, I'm supposed to have, like, I'm have a Bumble date meeting me up here in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah. Yes. This is a safe space, so, you know, he's a Gemini, but I, I, I honestly, and don't laugh, I just honestly think I'm going to just have sex with him. Ooh, I just said that shit. That's, <laughs> That's fucked okay. up. That's okay. I mean, because the last guy I fucked with, the one that I thought we, I was all in love with or whatever. And remember, I was like, oh, we hadn't had sex yet. Well, it wasn't because he was trying to be romantic. His dick wasn't working. Oh. Something was wrong with the dick. And everything else was great with him. Oh. How do people not know about that? There's no. Like a, every time I turn on the TV, there's a hymns commercial. No, how do you not just go to the doctor if your dick is not working? Okay. I don't get that. Is it just like you go, it's going to start working? No. Go to the doctor. Is that, it against God? It's it's stupid. It's like, so dumb. Go have them put your nuts in hand, cough to the left. Like, like find out. Like, mm -hmm. when our pussy is stinking. Let me know. <laughs> we got to go to mm -hmm. the doctor. Yeah. If I itch, if I'm bleed, if something, I go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Why are y'all not doing the same thing? I mean, I actually know tops that have problems like that. I don't. And I've dated guys that but actually, is, like, they, they, there was a guy that I dated. He literally was using Viagra every single day for, like, eight months, and I had no idea. And then after that, he was, like, just always soft. Oh, did you like, see I, that in the stars? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I left him exactly when I expected to. Yeah, because yeah. like, 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 it's like like this, this last guy. I mean, I, I really like this last guy. But it was just like, you're not going to force your dick to work. You're, you're either going to go to the doctor and fix your dick or fix your head. Something somewhere is for... Like, when I go to the doctor and I be like, yo, my, I've been getting dizzy. Well, it's either your fucking sinuses or your brain. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's you got to go get that shit fixed. Yeah, yeah. And then you sitting there making bitches feel fucked up because your dick don't work. <laughs> it ain't me, motherfucker. Like, I'm that motherfucker now. That's exactly I be like, what I, oh, exactly no, I'm what very I much too. like, I said, hey, I know I'm a sex goddess. Mm -hmm. I am a goddess. Yeah. Do you understand? So it ain't me, son. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to know about where you're headed? Because you are actually going it's, through... Well, my, my, do you my, want to know, like, specifically about love? Beyond the parking like, lot. Yeah, yeah. Like, what do you, like, what do you want to know? Because that... <laughs> I can tell you anything you want to know. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Beyond the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So many things. Okay, first, is he coming soon? Because I feel like that dude is here coming soon. I feel like he is, like, right there. Because I have been feeling like, <gasps> yes, I'm beautiful. Yes, very significantly. I mean, the thing here right now is that, so Saturn is across the sky from your Venus, and that is really... Across the sky? It's across like, the like sky. Like a 7-Eleven? <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I... 
Cross the sky from my Venus. Okay. So basically what it means here is that this, there's a lot of opportunity about like actually building a super long-term commitment at this point in time. Okay. And but so, we, but this is the kind of energy that it's like, you'd be settling down with this person okay. in a way that you're like, how can I build my life with them? Yeah. And that, that's what I'm, I think I'm looking for, but I always like tell myself, like, you know how you prepare yourself for just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, next lifetime. It's probably not going to happen. You know, you well, do that to protect <clears throat> your feelings. Yeah. I mean, one of the big things here though, and, and I wanted to bring this up in, in regards to your nodes, is that like there's a lot of past life lessons, particularly in relation to your mother, your mm -hmm. your that side of your family, that that's sort of where you need to kind of like harness the wisdom in order to to get everything that you want, whether that's a man mm -hmm. or that you want more power, or you mm -hmm. want more success, like whatever it be. But actually like really tapping into your spiritual side because you do have psychic ability. Mm -hmm. You know this, right? Yeah, you have psychic ability. Mm -hmm. That's also what makes you so aware of everything. Mm -hmm. And it's because it's actually, you were like a psychic in a last life. Yeah. That's, and so you still have that, that power. You still have I that just, power. I just, I don't want that power. I don't want that. But it doesn't matter. You can't turn I know, it off. I know, I can't. You know. I can't. And I'm telling you, every time it's something that'll happen and I'll say it and, and I say, I'm like, I'm not fucking psychic. I swear to God, every fucking time. What I need to know yeah. I need to know a lot of things. Sure, yeah. Is he going to be fine as fuck? Not not fine, because the fine for me, like the fine that I like. Because I want somebody tall. I want somebody tall. I want him to have a nice penis. That works. How big? It don't have to be huge, but it had to be a nice size because, I mean, I'm six feet tall. Good God. I'm not a small bitch. I mean, yeah. like, it's like walking into a Walmart, you know? So. <laughs> not a Walmart. <laughs> I got, I got a greeter and everything. Yeah, is your, is, your, is your clit the greeter? Is that what clit is like, welcome to Leslie's Pussy. <laughs> On aisle eight, you gonna find what you need. So, like, no, I'm, I just, I just, is it gonna be the, okay, this is really weird. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't laugh. Because I don't know if you do this or whatever, but I feel like I see him. Mm. I feel, I feel like. I manifest I, I, I get feel, like that too, I feel yeah. like I see him and I feel like it's, I mean, he might not look exactly what I think he's going to look like. Yeah. But I, I, I can feel his essence. Yes. Like with, when I was with this last guy, this guy was very nice. It wasn't that he, even without the sex, the guy was not a bad guy. Uh -huh. But every time I was with him, I was like, I don't feel your essence like right. i don't i mean like i like you and i like kissing you and i like hanging out with you but there's something missing there's there's the meat depth. missing the, there's, yes. yeah like i like my dude to be aware of himself i like him to just like be like who what, like got his business taken care of like i ain't gotta tell him to go to the dentist if his tooth is hurting does that make sense like i just i don't have to mother him yeah and he manscapes really well well, I, you know, kill wash his ass. Like, cause I like a hairy man, but wash your ass. Get a bidet. No, not fuck that bidet shit. <gasps> get a, oh, get in my a own home. Get a fucking towel oh. and wash your fucking ass. Well, in the shower, yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. but wash your ass. Yeah, yeah. Don't let the soap just go down between the cracks. Do you know that there's men that do that? And then you want us to suck your meat and it smells <laughs> like spoiled bologna sandwiches? The fuck out of here. Okay, so, next question. Yeah, so the, um, well, the, uh, the <laughs> <laughs> we just had an eclipse actually three days ago, and, and it's, it was. What sign should I be looking for? Yeah. Well, I mean, he, the avoid thing here, spoiled bologna meat. Yeah, because yeah. the Geminis keep jumping on me, oh. and because I think this guy's a Gemini that I'm meeting. Well, so when you're looking at all of the elements that are in your chart, you're mostly Earth. So, yes. And you also have a lot of water, too. So the yes. thing about this is that I finding that. someone with a lot of those kinds of compositions as well, okay. so whether they are, you know, an earth sign rising or a water sign rising, you're mm -hmm. going to be able to, like, flow much better with okay. them. I do always say that any zodiac sign can match with any other one. Okay. But, again, it's I agree about— with that. Yeah, you know what I mean? So it's mm -hmm. really, you know, kind of, kind of finding someone that's going to give you stability, mm -hmm. give you the kinds of— affection and, and connection that you need, but also has their shit together, like you were saying, but in a sense that it's not just their finances, but it's also like the the the, the reality that they're building. Just got common you know? fucking sense. Like, just, yeah. <laughs> that's, you know that's what? That's earth energy there, right you know there. What? That, yeah. I don't even, I don't even need a rich man. I got my own money. Yeah. You know, I, I really, I want a man that's so confident that doesn't have to give a fuck if I do got money yeah. too. I, I, I'm, I never understood that shit. It's like, so you're mad at me because I have more money than you? Well, what the fuck? Like, this is what it is. I'm going to always yeah. have that. But, if he has his own, what just have ambition, 
Have initiative. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm getting up in the morning, your ass is getting up too. Yeah. Or you might be up before me. Mm-hmm. You know, well, I just, I just, and good sex too. That's good the sex. kind of stuff. I, well, I know I said that already. Right? Your Mars is in Scorpio though. Oh so no, that's no, why. I, I am like, you're, this is, you're, no, let me you're, explain you're, something to you. If I had never had good sex, then I wouldn't be making this complaint right now. Oh, for oh. sure. I've had, I feel that so I've hard had too. I've had such good sex before, and I like I'm, I get mad at men because I go, "No, you're capable of doing it. Yeah. You just don't want to." You're. Look, this is why I tell men when you're fucking, you're you're jacking off instead of having sex. Mm. Does that make sense? See, when you jack off, you jack off. Mm-hmm. But when you with a human, you're mm-hmm. it, you're trying to really Hopefully. achieve. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to really achieve an orgasm, so you're jacking off mm-hmm. instead mm-hmm. of actually enjoying the process of having sex because you can have an orgasm that way too. Making love. And, and me, yeah, well, men think that they're going to go soft. No, well, you're not really working in the right mind then. Mm, yeah. So that's why I was like, you got to, and I say this, don't be mad, but I tell men, you need to have a couple of, and women too, you need to have three different type of jack-off sections. You have the one that you get to it because you know you have to have those, like, let me get to it because I need this, bam, get to it. You need to have the romantic one where you take your time and you breathe and you think and you you correct, you know what I'm saying? And then you just need to have the one where you really, really concentrate on, like, both things. Like, mm-hmm. I, I can't, it's, it's, it's you. You got to take care of that. Mm-hmm. So then when I have bad sex, I go, what the fuck? What what class did you not go to? Like, what <laughs> yeah. what lesson did you mm. just fell asleep on? Like, and I never understand why mm. men want to have bad sex. Why would you want to? And especially the ones that are so arrogant to think that they didn't did some shit. And you go, get your, get, I'm, I'm so, I, I, I think I turn men into serial killers because if you don't fuck me good, I will tell you. <laughs> And I would be like, what was that? What was that shit? Oh, you finished? I had a dude tell me one time, oh, well, I thought, you know, you knew how to get your... Well, what would I invite you over for then? Like, it's just like they'll try to do that gaslight shit. Mm -hmm. And it's just men, I swear to God, you fucking make women. You are going to get to the point to where we're literally going to AI your ass out. Because we didn't already figured out how to have children without you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers are on your last leg. I'm going to just let you know right now. Mm. We're going to become smart enough and strong enough to fucking just put y'all all in one place and divide you evenly amongst us. Mm. Keep, keep fucking around. Is that in the Hodiac? Well, I mean, the, the, <laughs> he did see me start, take over a small village. I you mean, saw the, that, right? the, the thing here that's also I'm really so crazy, like, Justin. Why you put up with me? <laughs> there's a lot of your chart that also talk, talks about like tremendous amounts of like needs for spontaneity and sex, also kink, things of that nature. Like, I'm sure you've explored some of that at, to some degree. What do you mean? What do you mean? Kink. What do you mean kink? Oh, for sure. I mean, did you Come know? On. Did you know? Did you know Virgos are the mo- the kinkiest okay, sign? Okay, listen. Let more, me even more than even more than Yes. Yes. I am. See, I told you. I, but not like, but okay, but it still come down to the missionary for me. I get that. I get that. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that other shit is fun and shit, but at the end of the day, lay me on my back and fuck the shit out of me. <laughs> now, as far as like the work up to it, kinky as fuck. Like, See, check yeah. this out. Don't laugh. Alien porn. What? So good. So good. <laughs> so good. So good. Listen. Wait, can I, can you tell me more what this is? What is that? What is alien porn? <laughs> no. It no, not is like this. so <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> and I, no. I accidentally found it. No. And it was like. Was that porn hub or what? It was like, yeah, I want this. Like, okay, what? so. What is it? So it's like. Is that like tentacles and stuff? <laughs> no, nah, because. Listen, so it'd be stuff like, like it's a female air pilot, like a female air pilot. This is all animated. Mm -hmm. It's a female air pilot that has captured an alien, Mm -hmm. and she's she's just horny, and she's just like... (laughs) I mean, she should be. She's just like, yo, I've been on this mission, and I I need to really fuck... And she's like foreign. I need to have some dick. She's a Russian. Yes. Uh, Sputnik. So then she looks back at the alien, and he's an alien, but this dick is huge. <laughs> but is it like a gray with like big eyes? No, it's just like it's an alien, and he just got a dope body, but he's an alien. <laughs> 
and his dick is huge. And she's just like, and he's fucking the shit out of and her. And that it's did it so for good. you. It's so good. Oh, my God. Is there like, anything else? Are we, yes. get, are we okay? Yeah. We'll wrap it up. Yeah. Anything is there anything else? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. okay. Is he coming? Is he Is he going to be yes. coming soon? Yeah. Is he going to be fine? Is he going to be good in bed? All of those are yes. Okay, yes. okay. And um, <laughs> in, in fact, right now. Um, where, when, what, and how do I need to be? I mean, to be honest, the beginning of next year is going to be fucking hot for you. Super, super Why do y'all hot. always That's be this like six months? months. No, this two months. is still no, 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 no. a long but, way. But, and you know what's so crazy? I'm working like crazy these next two months so I can see it happening anyway. Well, you just had this book uh, come well, out. Can I yes. have sex? And do you see sex somewhere yeah. near in the vicinity? Well, I mean, the thing is, Venus is in Virgo right now. So you're already in a place where you have a lot of opportunity for, Passion, for Virgo. attraction. Well, for where, all... where do I find them? <laughs> Oh my God! Well, I mean, <laughs> the call's coming from inside the house. You told me. You told me to ask. What's the address? <laughs> well, I mean, you you guys could set up a whole thing together. Yes. Yeah, we, we could definitely. Oh connect my God! Sure. But we do have number. to wrap it up. Unfortunately, I just want to thank you. That's Kyle, bullshit. Podcast Kyle should be as for being as we here. Thank you. We should Kyle, be here. Like everyone five find you. I was uh, if we wanted to. Oh, my <laughs> my website is kylethomasastrology. Kyle com. Thomas. Kyle. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. my Instagram is mr. K Y L E. Make sure I have all your Mr. Info. Kyle Thomas. Yes. Yeah. And I'm going to have you back because I want to do like an end of the year. Let's do it. Of, of, of what Not we the, can expect in 2024. I love that. Yes. And Leslie Jones. Yes. Thank you for being here. Make sure to check out Leslie's book, Leslie Fucking Jones, wherever you get your books. Get the audio book as well. The audio book is definitely different than the book. Yes. Follow Leslie. read a goddamn book. Wherever you can. And as always, we will see you next time here on the Just Saying Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to rate, review, subscribe wherever you can. And we will see you next time. Take care. Ooh. Ooh.